Drive is Wayne Goodsell. Well, the uh, analytics is really warped today. It's showing that there's over 200 who are viewing my uh, video on the church abolishing the Book of Mormon. However, the actual view count listed and shown on the page is still just 111. It is creeping up, but nonetheless, notwithstanding, very, very weird. And so, yeah, you can't trust analytics. And if you're a business, it'll destroy you. Because which do you go by? Do you go by the rush of customers that it, the analytical page is showing that I'm getting? And spend all the money for those customers that it's saying you have? Or do you say, I'm going to wait to get real customers to let me know what I need to purchase? This is why analytics is the most horrible invention ever created. <clears throat> but nonetheless, notwithstanding, I do need to get to a video that goes over all of the hinge pointing that the church is claiming they're doing. And, uh, ideally before conference. Right now, uh, 10 o'clock? Yeah, it's 10 o'clock. So right now, they are gathering in uh, most likely the administration building since they can't do it in the top room of the temple, upper room of the temple, and uh, having their weekly meeting, talking about uh, all of the the fun lies that they've been telling around the world and uh, going over a guy named Travis who's exposed them in the public record especially about the abolishment of the Book of Mormon video topics because it's on the public record even though the judges who were compromised to the church and should have, must have, legally required to recuse themselves. Uh, instead, sided with the church. It's still on the public record. Russia knows. Everybody who is paying attention to the the decisions of all the judges in the United States. They all know. And uh, to give you an example of how it works, when uh, uh, the second lawsuit failed, uh, all of a sudden Amazon steps up to take me to court. going to be doing this a lot now that I have to keep the windows open to stay cool <coughs> because the air unit sucks big balls but uh, anyway I, I, I get served with the, the paperwork in the mail or I think it was a guy who came and gave it to me uh, as somebody let him in the building but regardless, I had no worries. I knew I was already protected because of what the church did to me. And, uh, and so uh, I had to deal with that back and forth. Well, the very next day, or two days later, all of a sudden I'm getting mail from all these lawyers for bankruptcy 
flooding my mailbox. Oh, we'll help you. <laughs> pay us. I can't pay Amazon. What do you mean, pay you? <laughs> do you not understand? Do I need to speak slowly? <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, everybody's watching. So, when a new f lawsuit gets filed, especially when it's the church that's involved, everybody knows who pays attention to these things. And so, uh, once you know it with the Amazon thing, for some mysterious reason, they said, uh, we are dropping our case. And apparently I didn't need to do anything. It's just dropped. I'd like to thank the judge for remaining silent during the whole thing so that I was completely uninformed of what was going on. But nonetheless, the advertising stopped. My credit rating um, site or whatever now was saying, Oh, I, I can get a $4,000 credit. <laughs> oh. Yay, isn't that interesting? Uh, I still see that my credit needs work, which means they Amazon still did the damage. I'm still suffering. They get away with their crime, and me, I filed a countersuit, which apparently is going to go nowhere. Isn't that great? Justice is served. just how it is so uh, you know they're paying attention to me I caught lawyers checking out my website as they had gotten others because I'm sure they couldn't connect themselves to them to pose as as channel viewers uh, without any view videos of their own uh, with no picture to identify them, and I'm pretty sure fake names, <laughs> to uh, make comments on certain key videos, mostly of my older channel, <laughs> until they eventually caught on. But, uh, yep, exposed, exposed them as uh, uh, spies. And so, yes, the church is aware of my website. And, uh, and so if they're going to be dumb and think that I'm no threat to them because they won, that's how the good guys always win in the movies. The bad guys are too proud and cocky to think that they could ever lose. And even though it's taking far too long... And we only have three months or three years left. Nonetheless, and notwithstanding, such is the case. So uh, that goes with that. Uh, should I leave this as a video in and of itself? Might as well. I got too many videos to work on anyway. I could try to combine them all into one, but then you guys miss out, and so like the Abolishing Obama, abolishing the Book of Mormon, uh, that was one where I, I needed to get that separated from the original video, uh, Lamanites or White Supremacists, so that you guys can get that point, and that worked well, didn't it? Whether it's 200 or 100. <laughs> uh, but uh, it wouldn't surprise me at all if they were watching right before my, uh, right before their meeting. Because that's, I mean, the number of views was well over the 50s. That doesn't happen <laughs> on my channel. 
So yeah, it would make perfect sense for them to study up on me before their meeting. <laughs> hey, Travis has a good idea. Maybe we should get rid of the Book of Mormon. <laughs> After all, he did expose us to the world. <laughs> How do we deal with him? Murdering him didn't work. Even though we keep drying it. What do we do? How do we silence this guy? YouTube's not doing their job properly. <laughs> All the money we invest in them, they owe us. <sighs> so, yeah, wouldn't surprise me at all. Wouldn't surprise me at all if we find something two weeks from now on the church news. <laughs> I wonder how the other video is doing where uh, uh, Oaks and Nelson die <laughs> in Jerusalem <laughs> uh, nobody's interested <laughs> uh, okay girls <clears throat> tip for you as uh, those who are regular viewers know, uh, as a Mormon boy, I wanted to be a woman's fashion designer. But as a Mormon boy, I was denied. <laughs> and so I have to live out my fantasies and in uh, YouTube watching fitness videos of other girls doing try-ons. And uh, just a tip. You have to show your full body. I know you're just focusing on the clothing. You have to show your full body. Don't cut off your head. <laughs> Stand up, face the camera, unless you need to show like the sides, hemmings or stitchings or buttons or whatever, or the backside if there's something unique about that. But full body, face the camera, don't cut off your head. <laughs> and I will stop and bite my tongue. <laughs> From there. So, but yes, that's awesome you girls are doing try-ons.